this beautiful bird it's on the peach tree actually that's a plum tree my bad I'm a beautiful little creature I'm sitting here and I'm talking to a lady friend that I have it's been very difficult for us to be friends over time and I'm sort of putting the feelers out There's something about her I really really like you know I am already I find her extremely beautiful and then at some times she's been very ugly you know just on that on the, on the interior and after a amount of time that kind of went away you know so it's funny that this bird has appeared here as I'm talking to her I just feel really strongly about um, the male and female you know being being a different sort of force of nature and I see that in this person, you know, I do, have always, you know, I was supposed to be introduced to her by a friend of mine, and she uh, didn't really do that, sort of, uh, she sort of waited a while, she didn't really, uh, she wanted to introduce us, but then again, she, she wasn't done with I don't think she was going to do that until she was done with uh, her use for me as her quote unquote best friend. This is another friend of mine who didn't really make the cut, you know, did a lot of fucked up stuff to me. I had a brief relationship with this other girl, but we had been friends for a long time. I briefly had a little bit of a relationship. She was very, um, hostile and so is the girl this girl now that you know it's uh you know but I, I feel it's important I don't it's I'm not really a person I'm not a single person you know I'm I'm set up in my soul for like a relationship I'm a man for a woman you know, but I currently I'm at, I'm at, I'm at, I'm staying with my dad. I'm doing this home health care thing for him because he got cancer and he lost his voice and it's getting very hard for him in the day to day life. And I moved to this place and this place is amazing and it's really grounded me because I'm not the person I was before because I mean, like here, I'm I'm grounded. I'm able to put my feet into the ground, and root. And I, I never had a place like that. This place is profound. In that manner, the rivers in the back, and just the way it is, it's just. It's pretty fascinating. But I've seen her with some douchebags, and she had a child with a really good friend of mine. I mean, we were we were also good friends, but we didn't have spent that much time together. But I had a profound respect for him, and I think in the end, he had a profound respect for me. And I was able to introduce him to God, and in the end, I think he found God. Unfortunately, he is with God now, and it just didn't seem like that was right. And I don't know. The girl has two little boys, you know, and I, I'm a dad, man. I am. I have three little boys, and I don't get to see any of them. And it, it really hurts my soul because I'm not, I went through a lot of shit with my ex, you know, that messed me up because, you know, infidelity and shit like that, and we would fight. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not one, I'm not a, a beater up of women. 
I'm really not. But if you corner me and attack me, you're probably going to get hurt. And this happened a lot with us, you know. And she seemed to uh, capitalize on that against me. And that's really not who I am. You know, so it, it kind of messed, it did, it messed me up. It really messed me up. And another part of what messed me up about it was that there was no healing. You know, she knew I didn't want to hurt her. You know, but when somebody, when somebody needs to be the victim and you have a family and things get involved like that, you learn a lot of things. Sometimes you learn some people don't want to be healed. And there's not going to be an opportunity for there to be any sort of healing going on. You could try all you want, but then you might, when you realize finally that not only is there no healing to be done, and that you might be occupying a very important position in their their uh, psychopath psychopathy, you know, you know, someone that they can blame and they can uh, use as a uh, a lot of times she used, you know, her whatever new friends it was. It was just so that she could have someone to bash me, and. Um, that's another hard thing to deal with. To try to be in a, in a marriage and love somebody, but then again, their base of operation is basically, you know, telling everybody that you know they're a victim. So it wasn't it wasn't ever going to be anything that that was going to change. And I did, it took a long time for me to realize that that you know she needed me to be that. You know, and she probably would be in the same position somewhere else. She didn't want to heal. There's no healing. And she was already a lot damaged. But I have a profound love for women. I do. You know, it can be a little bit womanizer. But with the right one, you know, and I don't even know if I believe in relationships the same way. You know, because I like to be able to get close with somebody. But, I mean, I'm not trying to possess them. I also don't have a desire to have any more than one or this fucking freedom to just do what I want. You know, I just, I just would like to have one woman that has that connection to um, that same God inside of them that's trying to come out I need that I want to help foster that in someone else <laughs> the burr. and um, I don't know I just uh, I'm very interested in this person I know it would be very difficult because of her children but I would like to try to help in that matter. Not to try to, you know, run the show or do none of that shit. I just know it's hard already and little boys need dads. You know. So I'm going I'm going further and beyond in the simple just whatever, you know, cuz I I kind of do like her. It's I'm attracted to her, but it's not I'm not trying to just, I'm not coming from that completely just that. There's a lot bigger issues and reasons why I find myself interested. So I guess I'll make a video out of this and, and I, I'll let her watch it. She knows who I'm talking about. You know, even as a friend, I mean, she's so in tune to what the fuck I've got going on and then she sees that it, it's the same with me. So how do you know? I don't know how that happens. I have ideas, but it's like we're a there's a world of seven point eight eight billion people. 
but I say, I say there's only 10 souls, you know, we're a very small group of actual souls that occupy these billions of human bodies. And that's more of something that I'm interested in. And